Hey guys, it's Corey from Thought Soldiers. So, I was just filming a video, an update of some energies that came through the past couple of days, and I got a phone call, and it cut off the video, so time to restart it. So, um, basically, uh, I got hit with an energy wave last night, probably around 11 p.m., that kept me up, kind of unpacking this download, whatever it was, um, unpacking it uh, until 2 in the morning, 2.30 in the morning. And um, it's about the space, the thought space that we are operating in, in regards to the energies and the ease of use of what's going on. So I know that there was a, a wave that came in on June 6th, on 6-6. Six, six, and the numbers that I got for this wave is 10-10, 10, 10, uh, 1 0, 1 0. And this, this, the, the number 10-10 10, 10 in numerology, one is significant of new beginnings, uh, zeros indicative of um, zeros indicative of uh, the eternal presence of um, consciousness, God, whatever you, you choose to call it, creator, source, and um, tens also signaling um, cycles. And uh, if we break that down number, break that number down, ten ten equals twenty, which equals the number two, which is balance, peace, and harmony, and seeking that balance. So. In order to live a more peaceful and harmonious life when it comes to abundance and our highest ideal on our journey, being able to have uh, that freedom to flow into things and to be able to remain open to receiving, we have to look at what space we are operating in in a day-to-day -day existence when it comes to our thoughts and it comes to our actions. So when we look at the, when we think of the third density, the third density, third dimension, whatever you want to call it, um, the third density is is more of a, a a separation consciousness, um, divide, division, um, seclusion. And what happens is when we start to ascend into the higher planes of existence or, you know, we basically just uh, become more aware and more conscious of what's going on, we're now stepping from that separation into that unification. And so now it's time to, in order to flow in and to make life easier, we have to be aware of the thoughts that we're having and our action steps. So if we are taking a step into one direction, or we are, um, so if we're, if we're taking a step or taking an action step towards you know, our destiny, our goals, whether it's work, what business, whatever it is, we have to ask ourselves, is this coming from a level of separation or a level of unification? Is this isolating me or is this putting me out into the crowd? And um, that is the space that consciousness, that awareness of where we are operating from when it comes to thought forms and when it comes to those action steps is what's going to help to bring this ease of use to kind of integrate this, what I would call the 1010 energy, the 1010 energy, but also to be able to have a more fun, playful, easier existence. So I know for me, um, I always, I have to look at that now because with my self-care, with my level of taking care of self and self-love, even though it is a, a separation at times to focus on myself, um, there's a time to step out of it. And this is where um, I like to use that discernment of where am I coming from? Because if I'm practicing self-love and separating in order, in order to come out and to unify or to step into that unification or to drop in density to clear those aspects so I can bounce back up, um, then, of course, that level of separation is moving me towards unity. So there's it, it's making things it's it's stuff that I have to go through in order to clear to be able to make that level of freedom for myself. But when it comes down to um, social engagement, when it comes down to our purpose, uh, when it comes down to the, our roles that we serve in this time frame right now and what's going on with global ascension, stepping towards the unification is what is not only going to help the collective and help humanity as a whole to raise up, but it's going to it's going to help us to ascend faster. And um, this is what kind of came about this download is um, is learning and just being aware of and is what I'm doing right now. Is this bringing me and others together or is it pulling is it pulling me back into a um, an isolation zone, um, a hermit zone? working from the ego consciousness, which is um, very materialistic. And it's something that I have a tough time with because, um, you know, uh, there's there is a level of receptivity that I feel like we need to 
financial abundance to have freedom to do things to unify, such as, you know, to travel, uh, to feel comfortable, to feel safe, supported, protected, um, to be able to um, afford good food for ourselves, um, be able to make healthier choices, things like that. And so um, I know a lot of light workers have a tough time with this, and this is a, a programming we're breaking down hard right now and trying to work through, which is the abundance one. And there's a lot of light workers that I know that are cool with abundance. They're finan let's look at financial abundance. And they're able to attract those things into their lives. For me, I have a very tough time because it's all my mindset. And so this is where having to be very hyper aware of my thoughts and very aware of what I am manifesting into my life because if my thoughts create my reality, and I don't like my reality, it probably has a lot to do with my thought process. And this is something that I tie into. So what happens is when I get into self, which is negative self-talk, negative self-reflection, um, being my own worst enemy, I notice my reflection is not, um, as e it's not as easy. There's more resistance. There's more um, just circumstances I don't need in my life. And so this is where I really had to become that and live up to the name of my channel thought soldiers is because i have to be acutely aware of my thought process and whether or not that thought process the negative self-reflection the negative self-talk if this is helping me to bring myself within harmony with everyone in the universe or is it separating me and that negative self-talk usually separates me because it puts me into um this mindset where I just want to hermit and I just want to lay in bed and I don't want to deal with anyone. And then I'm not living out my purpose. And because I'm not living out my purpose, I feel unfulfilled. There's a soul sickness. There's an unhappiness. And thus it keeps that cycle going. And so if we want to ease into this new transition, this, this new phase of uh, more freedoms, more happiness, um, more unified consciousness uh, among the collective and feeling unified um, as an individual to help us to ascend. It's time to focus on those thoughts and how they step into the action steps that we take on a day to day basis. And so um, that's what I wanted to talk about is just where where is where is this thought form operating from? Is it operating from ego, which is seclusion and separation or that unified field of consciousness, which is bringing everyone together as a whole to help raise the vibration of Gaia? And so just just something to kind of um, to focus on while we are adjusting to these energies that 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 are coming in right now and they're coming in hard and fast. Um, I mean, it's been it's been a lot recently. So um, one thing to do um, this card just popped out. One thing to do to help adjust to these new energies is quiet time. So it's saying take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate and to contemplate. Um, and this is something I've been doing because once again, if I'm focusing on self in that quiet time to bring me into unification, then it's not keeping me in that lower density. It serves its purpose. And so that's where intention is, is we need intention to be clear to receive not only these answers, but the insight as to where we're operating from. So I'll pull one more card with, um, just going to ask spirit, what do we need? What does the collective need to know in order to help adjust to these new energies and to have more freedom? in the pursuit of the happiness that we desire, whether it be um, abundance in relationships, abundance in universal love, or abundance financially. I'll do one more shuffle. Infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So um, this is a good remembrance, guys, a good remembrance that we are divinely guided and supported that everything we need is within arm's reach. We just have to be open to receiving it. And um, to take the time to enjoy the beauty of the world. Um, everything we need is, is, a, is around us and we just have to be open to receiving it. And that's where um, we're not gonna be able to receive if we're in isolation. This is where the unification comes into play because as soon as we start to interact with more individuals, and start to um, to co-create with other people, that's when that abundance will arrive. And so, um, you know, this is something I have a tough time still with because I really love my alone time too. Um, I don't hermit on purpose. I, I really like, I like my alone time, um, but it's not serving me to a certain degree. So it's finding that balance of um, 
spending equal time to taking care of self and then being of service to other individuals and then being open and letting that letting that um, that abundance arrive for us as we are ready to to do that and to follow your inner wisdom you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay and that's going to help with this quiet time to strengthen our intuition to strengthen our connection with guidance and to um, to really trust what our gut is telling us with what we need um, when, when it comes down to mastery um, and what's going on we can it's still okay to, to seek out advice from other individuals but we're all knowing everything lies within we just have to trust um, trust the instinct and trust the intuition and trust what our gut tells us and our heart tells us and that's how we that's how we stay aligned and um, that's what this this 1010 kind of energy is doing is it's aligning us perfectly um, and we have to remember too that with alignment can come some level of deconstruction of our reality so things will fall apart things may not work out and we just have to instead of focusing and magnifying on the oh no this didn't work out and letting that thought spiral kind of throw us into that lower dense loop just be aware that that god source creator whatever it is is doing this for some grander scheme that we're unaware of and, and divine orchestration we can't always see what's going on behind the scenes because you know we can zoom out and see things from a higher perspective but we don't know exactly the orchestration um and that's the beauty and everything and understanding why things happen and and just really trusting and having faith that um, everything is working out for our highest good right now and that's why these energies are rising is because we don't have to live in that enslavement anymore um, that enslavement of self the enslavement of our minds um, also our karma our bloodline karma as well that that's been that's been passed down to us for who knows how long um, and it's been it's been a it's been a battle lately at least for me been fighting off a lot of things um, and having to strengthen my soul and strengthen my field through uh, prayer, through meditation, and through really tripling down on the self-care to get rid of those lower aspects that no longer serve us. So guys, that's all I got. Much love and respect to everybody out in the Webiverse. Um, I appreciate all your guys' support. If you haven't, click subscribe. And um, that's all I got. If you want, you can reach out. Um, in my description box, I have links for my appointed calendar for Reiki and for coaching. Also, my website. Um, as well as my PayPal link is in there as well. So guys, thank you so much for all the support and all the love and all the guidance. I appreciate all of you and I will see you on the other side. Namaste.